scroll my team coins, check out thefootshop.com. Their link is in the description below. And for a discount on your coins, use Nepo at checkout. What's up, guys? Nepenthes here, and welcome to the bonus bar. So basically, what this is, guys, is in stream last night. If you missed my stream, where the hell were you? Twitch.tv slash Nepenthes. If you were in my stream, we were discussing things and features we would like to see in FIFA and around. And I have a feature that I think would be pretty cool, and it's called the bonus bar. And this actually comes from Betfair with their arcade service, where the more money you spend, the bonus bar fills up. And depending on how much you spend, once a bonus bar hits the top, it gives you a free bet. So I thought, how cool would it be if in FIFA, you had a bonus bar so that every time you spent FIFA points, it filled up the bonus bar. So one bonus bar point filled up per every 100 FIFA points spent. So if you open a seven and a half K pack, the bonus bar fills up by a one and a half points. If the if you spend you know if you buy a regular gold pack, it fills up by a hundred you know one point for the hundred FIFA points. I'll explain more as we go through. Bonus bar only to be filled up with FIFA points and not coins. And the reason why I suggest this is because EA want money. EA are about money. So if EA allow the bonus bar to be filled up with coins, people will buy coins. They'll then get even more free stuff for filling up the bonus bar. So if they do it with FIFA points only, they can really monitor the fact that people will be spending even more money to help them. You know, whilst I want f free things for us, whilst I want to add good features into the game for us, I'm not too naive to think that EA won't do this unless they get money out of it as well. Now before we go any further, if you actually do like this idea, leave a thumbs up on the video and if you want to see more concept ideas for within FIFA, also let me know on twitter.com slash nepenthes in the comment section and by dropping a like on the video. The bonus pack to be re redeemed before a new bonus bar commences, again I'll explain that shortly, but basically what that means is once your bonus bar is filled up, you then have to claim your free pack before it starts filling up again. So people can't leave them and stack them up so that when something like Team of the Year or Team of the Season comes out, they have a better chance of getting something big. You have to claim it there and then, and otherwise the bonus bar doesn't continue to commence forward. Upon completing the bonus bar, three choices of random packs appear in the bonus pack section. Again, I'll show you something what like the packs could be in a second. And opening packs with coins will not fill up the bonus bar once again because of what I explained how EA are going to want to make money out of this as well. And uh, let's get into the uh, the way it works in the packs. So first off, guys, this is exactly where I'd place the bonus bar. I would put it next to where your credentials are. Maybe not as big, but just for graphical representation, I'd put it there. And it doesn't even have to be a bar like that. It could just have, you know, a little tab that says 0 out of 100. The reason why I show it as a whole bar is because... You can see as you open a pack, as we move on to the next screen, uh, that if you, you know, if you've bought 2,400 FIFA points worth of packs, your bonus bar gets filled up to 24. Uh, you know, if you open one more 5,000 5, coin pack, it goes up to 25. Eventually, you're going to get to the top, so you get 99 out of 100 on the screen now, 100 out of 100, and you can see it's illuminated just on the underneath and on the side to indicate that you have now got your special packs. So where we are right now, you've got bronze packs, silver packs, gold packs, pro pack, promo packs, and FIFA points. I would like to see at this point another tab called bonus pack. So once you complete the bonus bar, you go into something that looks a little bit like this. So you go into the bonus pack sections, and there will be three random choices of packs. Now these packs will contain many different things. I've got three options here, but we're going to talk about a few more. So first off, guaranteed in form or legend if you're on Xbox 360 from the current team of the week, picked at random, untradeable. So basically you open this pack and you are guaranteed guaranteed an inform or a legend from the current team of the week so it could you know for example this team of the week our best players are Santi Cazorla and Benatia so you're probably going to get something bad but you get a guaranteed inform making it untradeable doesn't fuck up the market because the most you can do is discard it and you can't sell it it doesn't change the prices doesn't change values of player on the market doesn't flood the market with players allows you to guarantee yourself an inform, allows you to get an untradeable item. Potentially you could pick up a Pele untradeable, you know, okay, so you can't sell him, but you do get to experience playing with a legend. That would be the first pack that's something that I would suggest. Another pack that I would suggest would be the 50k pack again, containing 12 rare gold players picked at random, no informs or legends and untradeable players. So you guys know 50k packs, uh, they're, they're usually pretty decent. You want to get 12 rare gold players for filling up your bonus bar. They're all going to be untradeable. And the reason why I suggest having no informs or legends in these packs is that EA still want you to open packs to pack these legends and informs. So if you want the chance to get a legend or an inform, you'd get the guaranteed inform pack. If you just want a lot of players, maybe you've got a bad team and, and you want to improve your team, maybe you know you, you might pack Ronaldo or Messi or Ibra, Ribéry, Robben, Gareth Bale in this untradeable 50k pack, and it could really help boost your team. So again, if on a week like this week where it's not the best team of the week, you might skip the guaranteed inform pack and go for the 50k pack. Or potentially as we move on to the next screen, you might 
I go for three 25k packs. So it contains three rare players, no informs or legends, and they are tradable players. The reason why I do it is just three rare players instead of anything else, and the reason why there's three of these 25k packs is because you uh, you basically get um, uh, shit players in these packs. You know, this th it contains three rare players. It doesn't have to be gold players in these packs, which is why this is tradable. It's also why informs and legends are available in this pack. You might get one bronze, one silver, one gold. You might get three silvers. You might get three bronzes. It really is luck of the draw, but that's the whole point, in my opinion, behind a bonus pack is that it's about luck. It's not guaranteeing you an incredible item, but it's guaranteeing you a chance at incredible items or an incredible item. So I do think like something like 325k packs would be good. Of course, a lot of you guys are going to sit there and think this is a silly idea. You know, I don't even use FIFA points. This is just going to help the rich get richer. It won't really help the rich get richer because people are spamming FIFA points anyway. If people are spending a lot of FIFA points, they deserve to get something for free. You know, they deserve something for free for their loyalty towards EA for spending FIFA points instead of buying coins. That being said, you have to fill up 100 points. That's 100,000 FIFA points. You know, again, this can be variable. This isn't, obviously, this isn't in the game, so it's not there, it's not happening. But 100,000 FIFA points before you get something for a bonus. Maybe you can even unlock bonuses for the bonus bar during gameplay. You know, you win a tournament and you get five points added to your bonus bar. Things like that, just to keep people immersed into the game and keep it interesting for the consumer. Um, what I want to see from you guys is, I want to see you guys put in the comment section what packs you would like to see and how exactly you would like to see them. We had a great discussion on the stream yesterday yesterday about what packs people would like to see and a lot of different packs came up. Um, I, I find these three packs would be pretty damn sweet, um, however you guys may disagree. So if you've got an idea of a pack that would be awesome to use as a bonus bar pack, put it in the comment section below guys. But this is going to be the end of the video, hopefully you enjoy this sort of stuff. Um, I know you guys really liked the, uh, the classic player stuff that I did with the classic Ronaldinho. Um, so if you do want to see more of this kind of stuff where uh, where we look at concepts that could be in FIFA and kind of put them into the game and see how they would work, let me know, leave a like. But for now, guys, this is the end of the video, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.